Hello everyone. Uh, well, it's Sunday and well, I was just looking at my cupboard uh, before and I was able to push the back in really easily and I thought, oh no, oh dear, what can this be? So anyway, I got the vacuum onto it and I've just vacuumed like the whole back wall of everything, but have a look. I got termites just like crawling through everywhere. I'm not too concerned though because like I said mate this place is made of bricks and mortar. There's only this tiny bit of wood there in the back of this cupboard. Jeez what do I do now? I was aware that there were termites around but I didn't think that they could like get in there and just eat the back of that cupboard out. The rest of the cupboards are okay. Well I decided to go to Bunnings to see if there's something that maybe I can fit over that hole. <sighs> but not be expensive. If I can't find anything, I'll just use like a piece of cardboard or something. <laughs> That'll do. I mean, it's the back of a car, but no one can see it. But if I can find a nice piece of fiberglass or not fiberglass, whatever that like wall covering, it's got to be thin, but I'll, I'll go and have a look anyway. Yeah, okay. And plus I get to go to Bunnings. I mean, what more do you want? Any excuse to go to Bunnings? <laughs> Actually, I was just driving along and I saw that there's still curbside cleanups going on, which means there might be some materials that I can take that's lying around that's free. Even better. There's something here. Let's have a look. Oh, well, this is probably a bit too small, but there's a piece of glass there. That might be all right. But I did see the back of this. Now, if I could get this off in one... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this would be perfect. It just means I have to, like, saw it, though, and cut it into my own shape. But still, this is all I need. Sweet as. That's perfect. Kachinga. Save some money. Actually, I've never been around this neighbourhood. I should go for a bit of a drive. This is just the suburbs of the Gold Coast. One of them. There's probably about 20 of them. But the frangipanis are out. The jacarandas are out. Oh, that's nice. There's a nice bit of canal down there. People playing on it. Oh, they're doing their hedges. Nice work, mate. Keep it up. Some more curbside stuff. Oh, look at the flowers on that frangipani. Aren't they gorgeous? Ah, oh, there's Mick, my old mate. He's selling their house. Go on, you Mick. Oh, a barbecue. I wonder what condition it's in. Oh, and some uh, mulch bins too. Gee. Oh, a pallet? Mate, this is a street to come to. More chairs. Everywhere there's chairs. Where are these people sitting? Oh well, I don't have to go to Bunnings anymore, so <laughs> I've got some grocery shopping to do anyway, so I've got to do that for a video that I'll do tomorrow, I reckon. And I need to buy some dinner too. What can I get though? Hmm. So I was just driving along and I saw a lady drop an avocado out of her shopping. And she just kept walking, so I thought, ooh, a free avocado. Yeah, how much do those things cost? They're like, they're almost like $3 each. So I stopped and I picked it up and and my morals came over me. So I thought, well, you know what? It's not mine. I saw her drop it. I know exactly whose it is. So I picked it up and I went and I gave it back to her and she was very appreciative. <sighs> morals. Damn, why do I even have them? <sighs> oh well, I guess it's better than not having any at all. Remember that, kids? Now, if I hadn't seen somebody drop it, then I would have seen an avocado lying on the ground. Would I have kept it? Well, if the skin wasn't broken, probably. All right, well, let's see how I can stuff this up. So it's got to be 65 by 56 and a half. Oh, God. Right, so that'll be about there. Well, 
Well, that was a whole lot easier than I thought it would be. Let's go and see if it fits. Fingers crossed. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, it's too long. Or is it? Damn it. It fits, but oh, it's just this one little bit. Where's my spoon? It needs like a couple of mils taken off there. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> the perfect crime. That back in. There we go, sweet as. The best thing about this is that now I can do a bit of a clean up of this cupboard because I haven't cleaned it up in ages. I mean, why on earth do I have a Jamie Oliver build your own greenhouse up here? I know, that can go straight on Gumtree. I'm so proud of myself. You know, I haven't felt this proud since Probably never, actually. I don't never feel proud of myself. I'm always beating myself up. I'm always unachieving. Is that a word? Uh, underachieving. Yeah, that's the word. But I'm really happy with that. I reckon that's awesome. Good job, Gregor. You deserve a beer for that. But it's only 2.30. It's not beer o'clock yet. And I got work to do, so I better keep going. Two ways, 69. Look at the thorns of these things. So sharp. Oh. Oh. And these are right where you're walking. Just where you're walking along the path. You see, even just walking down the street can kill you in Australia. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those colours on that frangipani. Gee, that's not bad. I wouldn't mind taking that home. It's pretty good. Oh, the fumes coming off this road, just from hitting the traffic, you can really smell the traffic fumes. They stink. Oh, looks like somebody brought the party outside. Decided to leave it there. Well, it is nice down here today. Wow. Temperature's nice, mid-twenties still. Waves are pretty good, light winds. Yeah, looking good. Six thousand steps at five fifteen. That's pretty good. Ah, it's lovely down here today. That's a nice place. Wouldn't mind living there. Some birdies. Noisy miner. There's the other one. Noisy those things. They're introduced too. I oh, know they're the uh, natives. They're okay. Well, there's a peewee. But they're the uh, introduced minor birds. They're the Indian miners. They're both very common birds. You see them everywhere. I'm not sure if that's curbside cleanup or if he's moving house or if that's what he's found today. Mm, there's that fish and chip shop I usually go to. It's really nice. I just walked past it then and the smells coming out were like really good. Oh man, I want some fish and chips now. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Just made it in time. Cheers, fellas. Anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate you uh, watching uh, and your support. So as long as you keep watching, I'll just keep making it, mate. If, if, if you're interested in watching me just going shopping and then walking around and like showing you stuff, then, mate, I can do that till it 
till the cows come home as long as I've got an internet. Caught a fish. Don't I look gorgeous? <laughs> you know I do. Thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. And uh, cheers here. Uh, oh, lucky it was empty. <laughs>